Now, this is what I don't get about Pokemon. Three years ago, October 12, 2013, Pokemon X and Y just came out, and on October 31st, some guy hacked it and leaked the three hidden legendaries, Volcanion, Hoopa, and Deancey. That's the first case. Someone was able to hack X and Y within a couple of weeks and reveal the mysteries inside. They even revealed Megaladius and Latios. Next year, Oras gets announced. On October 16-ish, when the demo comes out a month before the game comes out, Project Pokemon actually hacks the demo itself before the actual game comes out and finds that every Mega Evolution has already been revealed and that the only thing left is a new Pokemon called Hoopa. That was two years ago. It's so odd to me that two years ago when they put out a demo, people were able to data mine and find hidden forms and they didn't think to clean up their demo this time so that people can't leak the entire Pokedex. In this case, there's a ton of new Pokemon revealed. We have new Pokemon, new Alolan Pokemon, new evolutions, including starter evolutions, new legendaries, and even new Ultra Beasts, and more news on it. Everything has leaked about these games. It's bittersweet, but I actually haven't seen these leaks, so let's get into it. First up, Litten's Evolution, the starter evolutions. Check it out, we got Poplio, Poplio's evolution, and there you go, there's the final evolution. So this was from the leaks, the Chinese leaks. That's exactly what it becomes. You think it's turning ugly? No, it turns beautiful. It's based off a of siren, it's a water fairy type. If you think back to, it's so weird that the Chinese leaks are real. Like they leaked so, they leaked right away. How could you work for Game Freak and leak the starters right away, man? Give yourself some time. Yeah, there's always been hints that Poplio's gonna become fairy. It's really cool. I really like the way Poplio's evolution looks like when you see the in-game model. Moving on is Litten's evolution. Damn, is its final evolution skinny. That turned out the right way the perfect way when you saw the artwork of it it just looked big it didn't look like it would turn out the right way it's a fire dark type it's standing up and it actually looks badass damn i could actually consider litten this looks completely different than the vibe that the artwork gave you and finally is rowlet's evolution rowlet starts off flying up there gets that scholar look and look at that the hooded owl this takes me back man remember when people thought that rowlet would become like a digging owl so rowlet shoots arrows dart trick shoots darts this thing is supposed to just be an archer so yeah there you got it the starter evolutions are confirmed real they look so good in game put these three together they look like an epic trio to call starters for once moving on to a bunch of new pokemon what <laughs> This is my first time seeing this, but you got Picky Peck who evolves <laughs> and evolves again into the Toucan. Picky Peck was the Toucan Pokemon. Remember I showed you the leakers page where a hint was for an upcoming Toucan Pokemon? It was for a freaking Picky Peck. At least that confirms the other leakers real. We don't need you anymore, dude. So yeah, Picky Peck evolves more and more into a Toucan Pokemon. The main speculation with Picky Peck was that it was going to become a Steel type and would become like this major woodpecking Pokemon, but it goes from woodpecking to Toucan. I don't know what type it is, but if you think about that being the local bird of a tropical region, that's pretty perfect. Then you got Young Goose and Gumshoes, of course we've seen these two. Young Goose is 100% Uraditat for the region. Gumshoes is actually Uraticate, but it's also the first totem Pokemon. Vicky Volt's evolution line we've seen. This is pretty much your Gen 7 Beedrill line. You got a little bug type that just turns into an electric bug type. Dude, the typings in this region are insane. Moving on, Crab Brawler. Dude, you actually evolve into that thing? That's Crab Brawler's evolution. It's freaking hairstyle split in two. It's like, why do you evolve into that thing? It's like Zarbon. You have to get that ugly to get stronger. It's like its first form is all about the style, all about whatever the hell it tries to do. It drops everything. Like, I cannot see what its animation in that form could be or what its personality could be. It probably just looks happy. Of course, you guys saw Wishy Washy, its normal form and its school form, which is insane. It's weird because on its school form, everything takes the shape of a normal fish. Its eye, the shadows, even its horn. They're all shaped like fish because I guess if you were to break it down, it is just a bunch of fish. It is fish. If you ate a, a school form wishy-washy, you ate a school of wishy-washy. All right, and then we got Oricario. These guys are supposed to be mocking the four island deities, which, oh, damn, dude. I haven't actually seen them, so we are going to be looking at the deities later on. So let's actually see if these guys are going to look like them. Or not look like them, but look like a really bad copy. Like, this yellow bird's supposed to be mocking Tapu Koko. Let's see if the other ones look like that. And finally, we got Cutify's Evolution, which was recently revealed. I think it's a bug fairy type. And Rockruff's Evolution, which evolves into Lycanroc, the freaking werewolf Pokemon. So that's the first page of reveals. Damn. Taking a page by page, this is crazy. The Toucan Pokemon is Peaky Peck, and Crab Brawler went ugly. Let's keep going. Next page, 
damn, there's new Pokemon on this page. So here we got Lorantis's line. We saw its first form before. I guess this confirms it's just a two-stage Pokemon. But yeah, Lorantis, one of the totem pole Pokemon. Beside it is Beware and, of course, Stuffle with the freaking tag on its ass. But one thing is with Beware, when you look at Lorantis and Beware, I can actually see Beware as a potential totem Pokemon for that second island, just as Lorantis is. So in one game, you'd fight Lorantis. In one game, you fight Beware, which is scary as hell. A giant Beware? All right, let's get to Morlaw. Morlaw evolves into a giant mushroom Pokemon. So that's cool. You see these mushrooms that are glowing? I remember it saying in its description that it makes those glow when it's in danger. And if you were to attack it and hurt its mushrooms, it would have this weird effect on you. So when it evolves, it really just creates a giant mushroom protecting it at all times. Damn, I wonder what its ability would be because through these leaks, you don't really get their ability or lore. This thing would have a new ability, I feel like. God damn, we're getting to some crazy ones. Salandit? Guy, whoa, Salandit evolves into that thing. That looks badass. Like, I have nothing to say about that. You just look like Salandit's evolution. It's such a weird, stealthy lizard Pokemon. But yeah, Salandit is a poison fire type. It has the new ability, Corrosion. So that thing is gonna turn out to be a really cool Pokemon. What is that? Is that, what is that? I, so I guess that's a new Pokemon and you evolve into that spider Pokemon. What? I swear when I look at this thing, this looks like an Ultra Beast. I guess this is like the moving spider egg Pokemon. And then when it evolves, it becomes a full spider, something like that. We gotta revisit that because I have no idea what that is. This thing looks like it would be like part bug type. But what does this like crystal feel I get from it? I get this really weird Aether Foundation vibe from this Pokemon. We just gotta wait on it though. Up on the right side of this page, you got Mudbray and Mudsdale. We've seen these Pokemon such a long time ago. They're like Pokemon you'd find on a mountain. They're pure ground types. But then you move up and you got a really weird looking unique Pokemon. Now, I've actually seen this before. So I don't know if you guys know, but in the TCG side of things, there's like a new card release called the GX card. You know, it's like the EX card. But on the side of their latest booster box, they actually reveal artwork for a new Pokemon. And it's this Pokemon, the pre-evolution. People were really confused. It looked self-protecting like a Mawile would be. But it turns out this is what it is. This is a very interesting Pokemon. And just seeing them is nothing. We don't know their types, their names, or what they are. For all you know, these guys are rare Pokemon that you can only see in like certain caves. But you know, it's weird when you evolve and you open up and that's what you are inside. All right, so those are all the leaks on this page. You got Beware, Lorantis, Morlal's evolution, Salandit's evolution, and just a bunch of new Pokemon as well. This is what I mean. It's too good. It's too good to be able to just see Pokemon freely like this. Moving on to the next page. Whoa, they're okay. You got Turnator in the top left corner. He evolves into no one. He's just alone on the mountains, turning around, doing those weird moves. But under it is, is that an anchor Pokemon? That's so epic. A Pokemon, an anchor Pokemon, a Pokemon based off an anchor. That is badass. Man, that is such a weird Pokemon, an anchor Pokemon. It feels like it has something special about it. So maybe it has something to do with where you summon Solgaleo and Lunala. Because if you think back to one of the first few trailers, when they show Solgaleo and Lunala, they show you on top of this area as if you just summoned it at some shrine. So maybe these anchor Pokemon could be around that place. You got Palosan and its evolution here. In a sense, Palosan is a lot like these Alolan Pokemon. I bet you if these Palosan learned to grow up somewhere else, over time they would stop building sand castles out of themselves. Hey, but it's it's a cool Pokemon. Imagine going into the desert, going to a cave, find all these Pokemon, and then you figure out this entire cave is a Palo Sand. Well, we got a bunch of miscellaneous Pokemon. So we got Drampa. Don't tell me. Do not tell me. The Koala Pokemon doesn't evolve. Is that even possible? You don't evolve? Bruxish? Mimikyu and stale Mimikyu. I'm actually surprised Mimikyu doesn't have an actual form. It has a badass type, badass ability, even a badass design but it's just not badass. You got mine, you're here. It also doesn't evolve. So it's like a forever Geodude that you're gonna find. Over here, we got Oranguru, Passimian, Pukumuku. None of you guys evolve. Even Togedemaru. Check it out, Type Null is even here. We got Wimpod. Is that Wimpod's evolution? Is that, is that something else? Or is that Wimpod's evolution? Or am I stupid? Dude, that is crazy. That is, that is the most badass a bug type can ever go. Why do you look better than half these Pokemon? What are you trying to be like a bug fighting type? That's insane. A bug can't go fighting. Damn, that is the ultimate story for Wimpod. It started off as a wimp. Like Wimpod's ability was wimp out where if its health was like below half, it could run away from a battle. It's all about being this wimpy Pokemon. So way to make it evolve into this badass Pokemon that's gonna show you just like a Gyarados did. Moving on to the right side, you got Bounce Sweet's evolution, Steeny, as well as the final evolution, which is Sarina and Jangma O's evolution line. Look how beefy and tanky these Pokemon get as you move on. They get huge. But dude, out of this page, the biggest thing has to be that anchor Pokemon. It looks so different. If I were to see it in a trailer, it, I feel like it just blow my mind away. Oh God. You don't understand what page I just opened. 
Tapu Koko's in the middle. This is the Guardian Deity page. Tapu Koko's in the middle, and to the left of it is...